Hello everyone and welcome to Late Night Frights. My name is Vanessa or Vanessa82Horror on YouTube. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, this week on Late Night Frights is Horror Battles, so I'm going to be battling the Amityville Horror and The Omen. These movies are both remakes. The Amityville Horror came out in 2005 and The Omen came out in 2006. I love both of these movies a lot, so this is going to be a little bit hard for me. But out of The Amityville Horror, it is about a husband and wife. They The wife has a son, two sons, and a daughter, and but her husband is the stepdad to the kids, so they don't really explain too much about the, um, like the, the biological father, but you know. And so they, the husband and wife, they want to get a, um, better house, a big house, and so they find this huge house that's really nice and they like it and they find this really nice house and they end up liking it and it's a really good deal but they find out that someone has that a family has been murdered there before well yeah murdered by their father like the the father killed the whole family um and so you know they get the house anyways and everything you know it's fine at first and then little by little things start to go south and yeah, so, I mean, that's basically the whole syn synopsis of the movie. They just, yeah, so that's basically the synopsis of the movie. I'm not going to go into detail about it because this video would be forever if I did. So, <clears throat> plot of The Omen. Um, it's about a husband and wife again, and she... Okay, so they... The wife is giving birth, but the... People in the hospital take the baby away from her, and they what happens to the the baby. I'm not gonna tell you what happens to their real baby because that kind of would spoil it for you. But I'm not gonna tell you. But um, they the hospital gives her a another baby. It's it's really confusing. Not really, but um, yeah. And it, it basically it's the whole synopsis of the movie is that they have the devil's son, which is. He's Damien, and so, you know, at first when he's a baby, you know, nothing, everything's fine, and, you know, as he gets older, like, he's five years old now, like, because they skip two years and, like, a few years, and they just keep skipping, so, like, um, yeah, so, um, he has these, and the mom doesn't know that that's not her real son, and only the husband knows that, but they just, it's a really good movie, I really like that movie, um, but they can, um, their son, not really, you know what I mean, but, um, yeah, he starts going crazy, and, um, I'm sure you guys, if you've seen the movie, you know when the nanny kills, kills herself to give her soul, I'm guessing to Damien or something, I'm not whole, but she's like, it's all for you, Damien, it's all for you. Me, Damien! It's all for you! <gasps> Um, but to move on from that, basically the whole synopsis of the movie, they're raising the devil's son. Both of these movies are really good, but I'm going to battle them today for you, and yeah, we're going to find out who wins. So, round one. Round one is the story and, you know, the plot and everything. Um, the story I like better, I would have to say, is these, they both have really good stories. I just think... I, my, I like, the story I like better is the Amityville Horror Story. I'm just a huge sucker for, you know, ghosts and, you know, like, thing, like, haunted houses and stuff like that. I'm, I just love that kind of stuff, so I'd have to give the story to the Amityville Horror. Round two is originality. Um, so, which movie had more, like, an original idea and just something like you haven't seen before well I mean I love the Amityville Horror and the Omen so much and they're both pretty original but I think the Omen has more of a ri original kinda idea since you have seen a lot of like there is a lot of haunted house movies and there's not too many movies like I haven't seen a any movies besides this one that has you know they're talking about the devil's son and you know so, The Omen has to go. Round two goes to The Omen for originality. 
Round three is acting slash actors, so which had better actors in the movie and acting in general. So the actors in the Amityville Horror um, were re actually really good. I love the actors in that movie. Like, So the cast you have for Amityville Horror is Ian Reynolds. He was just amazing in the movie. A lot of people didn't like him in the movie. I thought he did a fantastic job of playing the father. He was just so believable and just he had like a really good, you know... He was just really a good actor. Melissa George, she was really good in the movie as playing the mother. She was really um, believable. I liked her too. You have Chloe Grace Moretz. The list, the list goes on, but the, I think Chloe Grace Moretz played a fantastic job in um, playing the little girl, playing Chelsea. She was amazing. Um, she was just so believable, and I just loved her character. I mean, I thought that was amazing, like, the scene when she's on the roof, and, you know, she's walking, and she's, like, on the, like, roof, um, and she says, I want to be, I wanted to be with Jody. I thought that was really, a really cool scene. And, you know, she's a really good actress. Men, the actors in that movie were also really good. There was Julia Stiles playing the mom. She was fantastic. Eve Schreber. I don't know. And then playing Damien, which I thought he was phenomenal who played this kid. It was Seamus Davy. Seamus Davy Fitzpatrick. And he was amazing. Like, honestly, he was super creepy. But I'm going to have to go with the Omnival Horror for acting just because I felt that the acting was just phenomenal and everyone like they just played a great job and you know even though The Omen had really good acting too I just thought that I just think that the um the actors are better in The Omnival Horror and their acting was better. Round 4 is body count and like all the kills and everything like that so um, I would have to go, I mean, this is not actually hard for me at all because I know The Omen has amazing kills. And they have way better kills in The Omen than in The Omnival Horror. So far, The Omen has two and The Omnival Horror has two. It's a tiebreaker. Overall, um, just enjoyment and, okay, so I... This is really hard. Okay, this is really hard because I love both of the movies so much and I enjoyed both of them so much. I'm going to have to go with The Amityville Horror as overall enjoyment. Even though I am in love with The Omen, I love that movie. I just, I love The Amityville Horror. I've just, it's been one of those movies that I've seen so many times and I've just enjoyed every time I watched it. And um, I've seen it with like my friends and my family and... It's just a movie that all like that scares me and I just I love it. So yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my horror battle. Um, but yeah, I'm currently a pre-member here on Late Night Frights and it is super duper exciting. Um, I forgot to mention that in the beginning, but yeah, I am a pre-member and yeah, I'm excited to make videos on this channel and um yeah, I hope you enjoyed the horror battle and stay tuned for more videos from me. And, you know, everyone else, go check out everyone else's videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.